Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be working on this door that you see in here behind me. And what's going on with this door is it's actually sagging. So when I go to shut the door, it's actually getting stuck on the jam and the door won't shut. Now, what can also happen if you have a sagging door is if you've ever experienced when you go to pull a door open and it feels like it's getting stuck up at the top, more than likely what's going on is it is also sagging. So I'm gonna show you a few really quick and easy fixes. Hopefully one of them will take care of the issue for you to where we can get that door lined back up and the door opening and closing the way that it should. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. All right, so if you take a look at the door up here at the top, what you can see is you can see a giant gap here. And that's again, because the door is sagging that way up here at the top. Then if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see where the door is actually touching the inside of the frame there. And then if I go over here to where the door closes, as you can see, it's getting stuck. If I push it really hard, I could probably close it, but it's getting stuck up here at the top of the door frame. So on a sagging door, one of the first and easiest places that I like to look is on the inside of the top hinge. It is not uncommon for these to over time back out a little bit, so one way to test this is to grab the door and just pull on it. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of movement on that hinge. So I just take a standard Phillips head and I just tighten down the screws that are on the door frame. And then I'll also tighten down the screws that are attached to the door. Now, when I was tightening down all these screws, one of the things that I did notice with this screw here was that it just kept on spinning. It never actually fully tightened down. It just spins in place. So what that's telling me is that the threads inside of the wood are not actually making really good contact with the wood that's around it. The hole might just be too big or it's stripped out a little bit now. And what we're going to have is over time, the door is going to be sagging again because this screw isn't being fully held in. So in order to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the screw and then I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm just going to break it in half. I'm going to take part of the toothpick and just shove it into the hole. And I'm just going to take the screw and reinsert it in. All right, so now that's in there nice and snug and I don't have to worry about this stripping out again. So now let's see if the door will actually close, which I can now get it to close. It does rub a little bit. As you can see, the door is still up against the door jamb, but just tightening up those screws did make it better to where we can actually close the door now. But obviously there are still some things that need to be taken care of in order to square this door up. So now I've got this hinge the way that it should be. Now I'm gonna move down and look at some of my lower hinges. And you may be wondering, why would I look at the lower hinges when the problem is obviously up at the top for the door to be sagging? Whoever installed the door did not fully recess this hinge into the door frame here. As you can see, there's a lip on this where if it was sitting flush the way that it should be, the angle would be correct and it would actually be pushing the bottom portion of the door away from the door frame, which is gonna help square up the door so that we don't have the problem that we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the pin out of the hinge and you can use a punch, but I'm just gonna use a fairly thin screwdriver and a hammer to help knock this pin up and out. Now that I've got the pin out, now I'm going to remove all the screws out of the part of the hinge that's attached to the door frame. Now I'll just remove that part of the hinge. And then I'll just inspect the door frame itself where the hinge was at, just to make sure everything is flat so that the hinge can sit in there nice and flush. Once I've got the door frame to where it's nice and smooth, I'll just reinsert the door hinge to make sure that it's properly recessed the way that it should be. And then retighten all the screws back down into it. I'll reinsert the door hinge pin. All right, so now let's see how well the door closes now. All right, so it still closes, but it's still too close to the door frame. But just making that adjustment on that bottom hinge, I at least now have a little bit of a gap here, a little bit of a crack between the door and the frame itself. All right, so for this next fix, now I'm going to refocus on this top hinge again. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock out the pin in the hinge, and now I'm gonna pick up the door and move it to where it needs to be in order for it to sit square in the frame. And so now, as you can see on this hinge, these are not lining up anymore between the hinge that's attached to the door frame and then the hinge that's attached to the door itself. So that is obviously telling us that probably our main problem here is this hinge itself. It's probably actually bent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold the door in place and I'm going to take a crescent wrench and I'm only gonna be bending the hinge that's attached to the door itself. So I actually need to bend them back 
this way in order to get them lined up with the hinges that are attached to the frame. And I'm going to keep holding it in place so that I know exactly how far I need to bend them back. So all you have to do is put your crescent wrench up onto the hinge itself on the door and then just start bending it towards you. Now as I'm bending these, I'm just bending them just enough to where the eyelets from the hinge on the door are going to be bent just enough in order to line up with the eyelets of the hinge on the frame itself. And a lot of times you're just gonna have to move these maybe like a 16th of an inch, but I really just pay attention and just do it by eye. As soon as they're lined up, I know I'm gonna be somewhat close to where I need to be. So now I'm just gonna reinsert the pin into the hinge. All right, so now when we close the door, it is now closing and opening freely. I've got a nice gap all the way down between the door and the door frame. So the door is able to open and close the way that it should. The door is not sagging anymore. And then on the other side of the door over here where the hinges are, a nice steady gap all the way down. So if after all those steps, you still need to get your door to move some more, what you can do is you can go to the top hinge and remove this screw in the top hinge and replace it with a three inch screw. Now this is an exterior screw. I'd use a construction screw of some sort or something that looks similar to this but you can take this screw out and replace it with a three inch screw. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull this hinge and the trim work all in tight to the framing that this door is built out of. And then that way you know for sure you've got everything as snug as possible to that side of the door. So this was a really easy fix for a really common problem. I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and leaving a comment down in the comment section. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.